This is Eric with Kalo Services and HVAC School. And today we're gonna be rewiring this uh, refrigeration condenser. This is a close up of the schematic. Let's get a shot of the condenser so people know what we're working on. Just a basic condenser only, no compressor. But the issue we're having here, if you look at how this is wired, your one to 10 volt DC signal comes out to your first motor and then the rest of the motors are wired in series. So it relies on this first motor working for the rest of the motors to work properly. Now there is an alarm relay in the motor and if the motor uh, shuts itself off, it should switch this relay and send the signal to the subsequent motors. But the problem is if this motor loses power, it will not. So if motor two loses power, it takes out all four of these motors. And if it's a bigger condenser, you just lose more motors. You know, same deal. Motor four will take out six and eight. It's just not a good situation for market refrigeration. So what we're going to do today is we're going to wire all these motors in parallel. Right now they're wired in series. So we're going to get rid of this output wire and we already have blue wired in parallel to our alarm relay, which blue and red coming from this terminal board right here are the same thing. So we're going to move the blue wire to the one to 10 volt terminal on all these motors, except the last motor where we don't have a blue wire. We're actually going to run a new wire from the terminal block to the motor because that motor is actually closest to the terminal block. So it's not a big deal. So we'll get rid of, we'll disconnect all the red wires, save them off inside the motor in case it ever needs to go back to the factory configuration. And we're just gonna swap the blues and run an additional wire. So what we're gonna do is move this red wire, switch it with this blue wire, and then we're gonna connect it up to the terminal block here and here for our motors that we're connecting these, these last two. So that red wire is gonna get abandoned in the box and taped off and shoved in the bottom. It's gonna get put down here in the low voltage side. Now with this fan and the other middle fans, we're gonna move this blue wire here to this here and remove these two red wires. So this relay is normally closed and it's an alarm relay. So when the motor goes into, it knows it failed and it still has power, then it's gonna pass the signal to the next motor down the line. But in this case, that's not gonna happen. For all the middle motors, what I'm gonna do here is gonna be typical. Again, we're gonna remove these two red wires and we're gonna put this one here. So here's what it looks like done. We got blue over here. We got our two reds taped off and jammed down. So that's gonna be the middle motors. Now, let me show you, this is nearest the electrical end. We have our wire that we ran right there with the blue tape mark and we have our red wire in the bottom taped off. All right, so this is the lead motor. So we really don't have to switch anything here, but I'm just gonna do it for continuity of everything being the same because this blue and red wire are identical here if you look at the schematic but I'm gonna put this blue wire here and take the reds off just like we've done at the other motors now you see this is a newer style motor than the ones we looked at but it's the re right replacement motor for this the new ones will look a little different and here is the lead motor rewired like I said really doesn't make a difference on this one but just for everything to be matching so everything's wired to blue in parallel so they're all gonna react the same and if any motor fails, it's not gonna take any other motors out of the circuit. It's supposed to be 0% chance of rain today, but the thing, these aren't sensitive powered electronics, right? And this is our final wiring. We're not using red anymore. So those are all disconnected in our motors and it's disconnected here. So there's no potential on red. We're using blue and here's the blues that we added here and here to go to our closest two motors, which are these two here. So everything's running direct acting parallel now is our current configuration before it was direct acting series. So as long as this board stays working, the motors should stay working. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.